The Thrunite T20T, this is actually the first titanium light I've ever owned, so I'm a little bit excited. All of my other lights have been steel, so I'm thrilled to finally have the coolness of the titanium. Is it a lot different than steel? No, it's not hugely different, but you're gonna save a little bit of weight and you get the coolness factor of the titanium. Before we get into the light, let me just show you the, the packaging, kind of standard through night packaging. Little tin here, no display window on this one, not a big deal, certainly. The uh, instruction sort of pamphlet, and then it comes with a few other things. Comes with a little baggie with some extra O-rings, and then to talk about the light a little bit early, the pocket clip, the pocket clip is removable. This is an Allen wrench and some extra screws for putting on the pocket clip. One of the nice things that Thrunite is doing with some of their lights is that some people are not pocket clip people. I'm a pocket clip person and I always use the pocket clip, but some people just aren't. They like to put the light down in their pocket or in their bag and they don't like the clip. And so Thrunite has made it so you just put those screws on there and you can take the clip off. And when the clip's not on there, you know, it's just a standard flush tail there. But when the pocket clip is on, it's there and it's sturdy. And one of the problems I've had with some of my other lights where the clip just kind of snaps on and around is that randomly, and I have no clue how this happens, but the pocket clip will catch on something and it'll pull it off the light to the point where I've had this stick onto a, a backpack that I was pulling up past my hip. I, the craziest one was I walked past a chair in the ER, this clipped onto the chair between the cushion and the back of the chair, not this one, but the, the, the pocket clip stuck into the chair and the light, I think thankfully fell down into my pocket. It, it, sometimes it actually falls out and you can't find it, uh, but this one, it's not going anywhere. I appreciate the fact that the pocket clip is stuck on there. It's screwed, it's not going anywhere. Uh, okay, and my soapbox on the greatness of the pocket clip. Nice pocket clip. Otherwise, aside from that, they include a little cone here. This is great because this light can tail stand. And if you've ever been in a blackout, you know, you can take your light and you can stick it on your dresser and it can bounce off the ceiling and light up the room. It does an okay job. But if you have a diffuser to put on there, either for a blackout, for camping, for anywhere that you need a little bit more diffuse light, these things are fantastic. Other companies charge you extra to pick up the diffusers. Through night throws them in on several of their lights, and I appreciate that. Nice little addition. Get this out of the way. So let's talk about the light itself. This is titanium. It's sort of an updated version or a new version of the T10. The T10 being a AA version the T20 being a CR123. Different people have different battery preferences. Some people like the ease of finding the AA's. Some people are concerned that they're not gonna be able to find the CR123's. So depending on which camp you're in, if you like the AA batteries, pick up the T10. If you like the CR123's because the lights tend to be a little bit more compact and brighter, this is 100 or rather 255 lumens versus 169 for the AA. So, you know, whatever your preference choices are for, in theory, ease of finding the battery or brightness or size, I mean, they're both pretty small, but you can kind of take your choice and pick one accordingly. They're both the same price. They're, they're at least the titanium versions, $59.95 on Amazon. You're going to pay a little bit more for titanium than you are for steel. You're going to save a little bit of weight with the titanium. Probably not enough to really notice in your pocket, but you do save a little bit. And again, you get that titanium coolness factor. Just to compare the colors, they're very similar. They're both brushed. The titanium has a polished finish to it. And if you had these by themselves, not next to each other, you probably wouldn't have a clue which one you had by being able to look at the finish. For what it's worth, the steel is a little bit more silver and the titanium is a little bit more gold or warmer and cooler if you wanna talk in photo white balance terms. They're very similar though. They put this brush polish on the titanium. It's a nice finish. It will get a little bit fingerprinted, but not really a big issue. You put it in your pocket, put it wherever. Wipes them right off. All right, so more stuff about this light. Uh, like I said, $59.95 on Amazon. I'll throw some links in the description. It does come in two LED colors, a neutral white and a cool white. This is the cool white version. Batteries, it takes CR123s, RCR123, 16340s. Really, any of those versions, it'll work on all of them. The LED up in the front here, XPG2R5 LED. It's got an anti-reflective coated glass lens, uh, anti-reflective coated on both sides. And the reflector has a little bit of an orange peel to it, so it's gonna give a good amount of uh, sort of flood to the beam. Function of this light on the back here, there is the tail cap. 
It's a reverse click design. Uh, before I mention that, the tail cap, because it's recessed in there, as I showed already, will tail stand, no problem. You get your thumb in there, you can actuate it. It's a reverse click design, meaning you click it, and when you release it, the light comes on. The light has three modes, starting in the dimmest 0.4 lumens, the moonlight or firefly mode. It will do that 0.4 lumens for 100 hours. Half press it, and it will go to 11 lumens for 19 hours. Oops, and then press it again, and it will do 255 lumens for 55 minutes. A couple different ways you can get between the modes. You can half press it, if I can half press it, half press it between them, or you can turn it full off and back on. And then the third way is when it's on, you can twist the head loose and tight, and that will go between them as well. It does have mode memory, so if you turn it off in full brightness and you leave it off for more than two seconds, when you turn it back on, it comes back into that previous mode. Back off under two seconds, it will then rotate through the modes. No hidden modes, no strobe, no SOS, no any other uh, crazy modes with this, but perfectly fine for an everyday carry light. You don't really need that stuff. 255 lumens is plenty bright for almost any everyday carry task you're gonna need. 100 lumens is plenty, plenty bright, so 255 is certainly plenty. So there you go, that's about it on this Thrunite T20T. If you like the coolness of the titanium, pick up this one. If you want the steel, a little bit extra weight, a little bit less money, pick up the steel version. But great light from Thrunite. I'm excited to finally have a titanium light. Been wanting to get one for a long time. Love it, check one out, T20T.